Chiefs and Colts, the NFL's worst rushing defense against a back who carried it more times this season than anyone ever. But it didn't turn out like you might have thought. First drive of the game, Larry Johnson, nothing. Next play, Johnson for two yards, 13 carries, 32 yards of the game. Chiefs would be forced to punt. Colts up 3-0, now third to eight. Peyton Manning to Marvin Harrison. This would good for 42 yards down to the Chiefs 25. It would lead to an added Vinatieri field goal, his second of the game. And the Colts get in their kicks for the 6-0 lead. Later in the first, Trent Green meet Dwight Freeney. He fumbles. Chiefs would recover. Colts had four sacks in the game. Chiefs forced to punt on that possession. Second quarter, Manning intercepted by Ty Law, who continues to torment him. Law's got four more interceptions off Manning than anyone else. He hit two in this game. Manning threw three picks in the ball game. After Colts goal line stand, Lawrence Tynes on to attempt a 23-yard field goal. And nothing's going right for KC. Colts will lead 9-0 in the half after a third Vinatieri field goal. Chiefs, no first downs in the first half. Second half, Lovey Smith there supporting both of his buddies, Tony Dungy and Herm Edwards. Joseph Adai supporting Dungy. 122 yards on the ground for him and a touchdown. 16-0 Colts. Then later, Trent Green to Tony Gonzalez. 60-yard drive for KC. They're right back in it. 16-8. Green 14-24 for just 107 yards. Fourth quarter, Manning, Reggie Wayne. Manning 30-38, 268. And a touchdown is 23-8 Colts. And they going to win it by that score. So the demise of the Indy defense greatly exaggerated. They allowed Kansas City just 126 total yards. It was the franchise's best performance ever in the playoffs on defense. The Chiefs, meanwhile, haven't won a playoff game in 13 years. And the Colts' defense in this game bails out Manning for a change, who is now 4-6 and six in the playoffs. For more on the game, here's Bob Holtzman. Larry Johnson's a good back. I don't envision us holding him to... You know, 25 yards on 12 carries. Tony Dungy made it clear on Tuesday, not even he expected this. No, the Colts didn't hold Larry Johnson to 25 yards on 12 carries. They held him to 32 yards on 13 carries. It was a stunning performance by the league's worst run defense after a week of hearing they'd be overmatched. I mean, I've never seen us get dragged so bad in the media. You know, this is going to be the worst game. They're going to rush for 350 yards. I mean, that just tells you it does not matter what anybody says outside of the 11 guys that are on the field. We could care less if you guys say that, you know, we can't tackle, we're too little. You know, you guys, the worst defense ever. You know, we love that. Bring it on. After a whole week of him hearing, I know they were sick of it. I was sick of it hearing uh, they were, I was going to run all over top of them. And, you know, they, they had a lot of pride. And you, you're not going to be a good defense if you don't have any pride. Colts defensive tackle Anthony McFarland told me after the game that even when the Colts' run defense was at its worst, Dungy never considered making changes. He says the Colts coach told his team, we have the right defense, we just need to tackle better. And McFarland says that's why players love Dungy, because he doesn't panic. In Indianapolis, Bob Holtzman, ESPN. So again, this was all about the defense because Manning put up decent numbers except in the interception column. He didn't really win this game for him. He's the fifth quarterback since 1990 to win a playoff game despite having three interceptions. Two of the previous four quarterbacks, Kurt Warner and Jim Kelly, ultimately reached the Super Bowl.